Hey there, sport! You look like a chap who doesn't like to pay for things. Did you know that there is a YouTube skill that'll allow you to listen to the audio from YouTube on your artificial intelligence gizmo? <laughs> But wait, there's more! These days you can even watch the videos on your Echo Show! If you've got 15 minutes and at least 3 brain cells, then you can watch this tutorial and follow your dreams! Dreams are subject to at least three brain cells. In case you're still sitting there going, what is this skill doing? I don't understand. It's very simple. It is taking YouTube and it is playing the closest approximate match it can find to whatever words you say. So if you say Green Day, it will start a playlist of videos that have the title Green Day in it. This is brilliant. You can do play, pause, next, back, all of it works. Why do we need this? Let me show you. Okay. Play Green Day on YouTube. Searching YouTube. <sighs> oh, that's great. Yeah, great. Yeah, not playing it though, are you? I just, I just swiped to play it, shall I? Nope, broken. The official thing is broken still. Amazon sort, don't bother sorting it out. We sort it out for you. Last time I walked you guys through creating a skill, I told you to use Amazon's AWS platform and Amazon asked for your credit card just in case. And a lot of you went, bye! Not interested in that, no one's having my credit card. You'll be pleased to know this time around we're using Heroku and Heroku will not ask for your credit card. Oops, I've left my merch page up. Perhaps you could visit it. Anyway, uh, visit this link is the first thing that you will need to do and it will give you an option to sign up for a Heroku account. Sign up using your email address, not mine, that would be stupid. Under primary development language, tell it you are not a developer because you aren't. Um, but today, just for today, be a technology business manager. Why not? It doesn't really matter. Uh, you're definitely not a robot though, so tick that and click create free account. They have sent you an email because literally everybody in this business does, just in case you're a robot. I don't know why robots like signing up for things, but they do. Uh, log into your email account, uh, find their email, and then click on the link that is in there to accept the request. Once the page loads up, you will be able to create yourself a password for your Heroku account, and once you have a password, that's it. Congratulations, you are a Heroku user. Well done. In this box, you're going to need to type in something entirely unique to you. You could put in something like your car's registration plate, I guess. Um, it all needs to be in lowercase letters though, so make sure it is. I'm going to call it YouTube-Video-Skill. You will need to pick something else. The region needs to be whichever is closest, either United States or Europe, and then click Deploy App. It's now carrying out what we in the industry like to call magic bollocks. Because I have literally no understanding as to what it's now doing. Something to do with code. Andrew probably knows. Uh, the important thing is, it takes a little while, so you might want to pause the video and go make yourself a cup of tea. Yay, it's finished. Uh, that's it. All you gotta do is click view and it will load up a not found URL page. Don't worry, that's what it's supposed to do. Uh, take the link from the top of the page and copy that into a notepad file. You'll need to keep the notepad file handy because we'll be copying that link into something a little bit later on. That is it though, you have finished deploying the code to Heroku. Open yourself up a new tab and visit console.developers.google.com forward slash project create and then you want to give your project a name, you want to use exactly the same thing that I do in exactly the same case. So YouTube space API space 4 space video all in lowercase letters and then press create. Once that page loads up, you'll find you've got a notification that says create project. You just need to wait for that to finish before you go any further. You should get a green tick like that. And then you can go to the top left and select your project. 
your project should be called YouTube API for video because that's what we labeled it. And then you want to scroll down until you can see explore and enable APIs. Click on that. Wait for approximately 600 years for it to load the next page. And then click on enable APIs and services. You should get something that says welcome to the API library where you can search for the service that we're interested in. If you search for YouTube, you should find one called YouTube Data API version 3. That's the one you want to select. And then click enable. Once that page loads up, click on create credentials here, top right. And then under which API are you choosing, you need to select YouTube Data API version 3. And where you will be calling from is web server example node JS Tomcat. Once you've got those two options selected, click public data and then what credentials do I need. You've now got an API key which you can copy to your clipboard and then add to your notepad alongside the thing that you added earlier on. These are the only two pieces of information that we're going to need to be able to tie YouTube to our skill. Awesome! Open yourself up another window and then visit this page, creator.voiceflow.com forward slash sign up. Stick in your full name, your email address, not mine, because that would be stupid, and then put in a password for yourself and click create account. It's going to now build you a nice blank workspace and bid you a fond hello. Hi, Paul Hibbert. Uh, continue and select just me and continue. You are not a design and prototype person, you are a build and publish person, and then continue. Uh, and you have no experience of coding. Boo. Hit none. Press complete. That's it. It's creating a project for you now. It's basically going to start you off with an example project which you have no interest in at all. And it's going to give you a whole bunch of pop-ups that you also have no interest in at all. Close off any pop-ups and then visit the following address. Download.andrewstech.me forward slash YouTube hyphen skill hyphen v3. And what that's doing is, it's importing all of Andrew's skill into our account so that we don't have to make the skill from scratch because we're big dum-dums. Select personal from this list and then click on copy project. That has copied his project in and if you click on it on the left hand side it will show you his diagram, which is terrifying. It's really not, it's very straightforward and you'll see that for yourself in a second. The first thing you need to do is grab your API key and put it in your clipboard and then stick it into his API key box. And you're going to do the same thing for the YouTube DL server, you're going to copy that URL there and stick it into his DL server box. That's actually all you need to do to tie his skill to your account. All we've now got to do is give the skill a name so that we've got our own way of calling the skill and we can upload it to see that it should not be named. We're almost done. If you now click the cog at the top of the screen, we can choose what we call an invocation name. This is what we use to actually open the skill up. So you could say, launch my mum. That would be pretty weird. Launch your mum? No, that's pretty weird too some but whatever so now we have our invocation name and all the code is ready to go we just need to press the upload to alexa button it's then going to ask us to connect our amazon account this is so it knows where it's uploading it to it's going to be your skill so you need to allow it on your amazon account it's at this point it's going to ask you to sign up for a developer account if you don't already have one if you are already a developer because you've made skills before it will just work if you're not a developer already you're going to need to go through the process of telling Amazon you want to develop skills for their platform because you are now not just a normal human being you're a super person who makes skills once you've finished the sign up process return to the voice flow tab and just hit that upload to Alexa button again this time it will actually create the skill on your Alexa platform and you're done so the nice thing about what Andrew's done here is he's used voice flow to create the skill even I can use voice flow. This is so malleable and so easy that even an idiot could take what Andrew has done and personalize it so it worked the way that they wanted it to work. For example, if you wanted to change the things that she said, anywhere you see the word speak, you can just change it. So instead of saying, welcome to YouTube Alexa edition, I can just change that to say, hey, dude. That's it. If I now just press upload to she that should not be named, it will overwrite the skill with that one. And the next time I use it, it will say, hey, dude, instead.
Even better than that though, if you wanted to update the skill using Andrew's code because he'd made a better version, all you'd have to do is go out of here, uh, click the little menu, and then remove project, and confirm, and it deletes the skill from the she that should not be named cloud, so you don't have that skill anymore. You can then put his new URL in, and it'll import his new skill. How cool is that? All you've got to do then is press the copy project button like we did before, uh, go into the skill so you've got your workflow, and then just re-update those two things that we updated before. So put in your API key, which you kept on your notepad, and then your URL, which you've still got on your notepad. With your API key and the YouTube DL server in place, you're just going to want to set the invocation name to something more personal again, because obviously every time you take Andrew's code or somebody else's code, it's going to have their invocation name, so I'm just going to overwrite that again too. And then just click anywhere to exit out of that one. When you then press upload to a let she that she not be named, it will then overwrite, in fact it will just upload the new skill because you just deleted the other one. You could then personalize it all again. I hope you found this video useful. Let's face it, you have. Um, and if you have and you want to consider a kind donation either to me to keep this channel going or to Andrew to keep him developing awesome skills for she that should not be named, there are links in the description to do that. Both of us will appreciate it, but there's no pressure either way. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That'll tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know you want to be notified when I upload videos. These amazing people are my patrons and these guys are literally keeping me doing this every single week. If you want to be a patron on Patreon, you can do that at either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal. And either way, I'll love you forever. These are my Instagrams and my Facebooks and my Twitters. You can come and hang out there and we'll be best friends. See you next time. Why do we need this? Let me show you. Oh my god, you suck. Cancel. Oh my god, you suck! Keep me doing what I'm doing, which would be great. Shut up, you...